Among the crowd of tourists in France, East Tennessee World War II veteran Clinton Riddle collects sand from a beach his fellow soldiers stormed 70 years ago. This is Utah Beach, part of the 50 miles of coastline taken during the D-Day invasion. About 13 miles inland, Clinton Riddle took us to the spot where he crash landed his glider. Riddle was among a force of almost 2,000 men making up the 325th Glider Infantry, and so was New York native Charles de Glopper. The 22-year-old would later receive the nation's highest military medal for risking his life to save fellow troops in combat. And Riddle is playing a key role in preserving the memory of his fellow glidermen. If it were ink, it would still be wet. <laughs> my, my. An American expatriate, history buff, and owner of a French bed and breakfast worked with Riddle and other American veterans to mark the spot on a French road where Charles de Glopper made his one-man stand in the face of blistering enemy gunfire. There was a gun sitting right at the crossroads stand there going to Amphreville. Big gun, a Horitzer. Yes. And that was one of the things that was shooting at de Glopper here. The Medal of Honor citation for de Glopper notes the area where he made his intrepid stand. His comrades later found the ground strewn with dead Germans and many machine guns and automatic weapons, which he had knocked out of action. Over here at this high spot here, yeah. there were guns in the dormer in the attic up here shooting from over there, right over there at that high. Mm -hmm. So we're getting shot at from that angle. The citation closes with this line. PFC de Glopper's gallant sacrifice and unflinching heroism while facing insurmountable odds were in great measure responsible for a highly important tactical victory in the Normandy campaign. Clinton Riddle was a few hundred yards away taking cover from enemy fire, but he was one of the troops who caught a glimpse of de Glopper charging to make his historic stand. I was pinned down that wheat field, and I kept a crawl and crawl, and I crawled out of the wheat field, but my pack was full of holes with it. But you got back safely to oh, yeah. Timmy's Orchard. Yeah. De Glopper was the only gliderman from the 325th to receive a Medal of Honor and the only member of the celebrated 82nd Airborne Division awarded the medal for the Normandy campaign. And we want you to be a member of honor of our association. Thank you. And thank keep the you. memory alive of what thank you. what you did. And thank you for your support. You've helped me very thank much you. with honoring De Glopper and with information, with the consultation for getting it correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Charles De Glopper didn't survive the day, but even after battle wounds brought him to his knees, De Glopper kept fighting, saving his fellow troops from an ambush. And this 93-year-old soldier says no one should forget that sacrifice.